one of the reasons you haven't found the person you want is because you're not the person that they need. I want y'all to hear me on this. I'm going to go deep one time. Can I go deep one time? Can I go deep one time? One of the reasons you haven't found the person you want is because you're not the person they need. In other words, the universe is not giving you what you want because you're not what the other person needs. So you are trapped. You are in romantic purgatory. Let me say it again. You are in romantic purgatory purgatory. I can't wait till I finish my For Sisters Only book. I'm going to change the world with my For Sisters Only book. Ladies, are y'all ready for the For Sisters Only relationships and dating book tour? Where the heart's at? If you a black queen and you waiting for Dr. Umar to drop that For Sisters Only relationships and dating book with the tour, with the stand up tour, coming to a city, where my queen's at who's showing up to the For Sisters Only breakfast? The For Sisters Only book release breakfast. The For Sisters Only book release luncheon. The For Sisters Only book release dinner. The For Sisters Only book release cruise. The For Sisters Only book release retreat. Who ready for that? Who ready for that? Lord have mercy. That is going to be woof. We must stay focused, my brothers. We must stay focused. But here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. You will not get what you want until you become what the universe needs. You are in romantic purgatory. Your ancestors have you trapped in romantic purgatory. They are not going to let you infect, destroy, destable another person's life. You can't find a good man because you might not be a good woman yet. There's something about you you need to fix. Black man, you haven't found the right queen yet. Are you the right king yet? Remember, you can only receive someone vibrating on your same frequency. The universe is mental. And all creation is energy. Ogun Tade. Ogun Tade. All of creation is energy. And all energy vibrates on a certain frequency. So if we reduce this to mathematical analysis, the reason why you are still not finding what you need romantically because you are still vibrating at the same level you were vibrating in the last time you destroyed a relationship or attracted the wrong energy. You only will get what you attract. You can only have what you are. You cannot mismatch the universe. Universal design cannot allow for a mix match. So if you at a low frequency, you're not going to get you a high frequency, sister. My brother, you're not going to get that. You are not attracting a high frequency sister because you are not a high frequency brother. See, Kevin Samuels, rest in peace. Kevin Samuels, rest in peace. Kevin Samuels talked about how value. He talked about low value and high value. And I disagree with him then and I disagree with him now because it ain't about how many degrees you got. It ain't about how much you weigh. It ain't about what you own. It ain't about how much you have. Kevin Samuels did high value, low value. Dr. Umar is dealing in high frequency, low frequency. Forget the values. It ain't about the materialism. High frequency women, low frequency women. High frequency men, low frequency men. Where are you vibrating? Where are you vibrating? Let me give you an example. It ain't about high value. It's about high frequency. Get off the European materialism and tap into this universal energy. It's not about high value and low value. It's about high frequency and low frequency. Hop off that European materialism and tap into this African spiritual energy frequency. High frequency. Let me give you an example. 
You have a sister who's raising five children on her own. She's receiving public subsidy. She's trying to start her business. She donates to the community. She's a volunteer. Struggling to make ends meet, but she got it together. She is vibrating at a high frequency. She goes out one day and runs into a brother who really likes who she is. She finds out six months into dating this man that he's a multi-millionaire, but he don't like to show it off. Not only is he a multi-millionaire, he is absolutely enamored by this black woman who don't have much materialistically, but who is vibrating at such a high frequency, he can't pull himself away from her. They end up getting married within the next year. He invests in all the businesses that that sister was working on. And now they are at the same point in terms of income and wealth. How did a broke sister materialistically end up with a millionaire brother? Because she was vibrating at a high frequency. He was vibrating at a high frequency, having earned his money the right way, spending his money the right way, and he was looking for the right queen. Frequency will find its equal. Frequency will find its equal. It ain't about high value. It's about high frequency. Now, let me give you low frequency. Let me give you low frequency. You got a brother whose wife left him. She walked out on him. Guess what? It was really a blessing because she was a spiritual vampire. It was really a blessing that your wife left you because she was a spiritual vampire and she was only there for what you have. But guess what? You still vibrating on a low level where the most important thing to you that a woman has to offer is her body. You still vibrating in your lower chakra. You still operating in your root chakra. So after your wife left you, you went out there and chose another woman for the big ass and the BBL the big blueberry lemonade. You chose another woman with a big blueberry lemonade, the BBL. And guess what? She dogged your ass out again. And you say, Dr. Umar, why I keep finding these gold digging ass black women? You know why? Your frequency is all about ass and coochie. So guess what? They used your ass and coochie addiction to drain you of your finances. You're vibrating on a low level Low chakra meets low chakra. You want ass and coochie. She want money and bills paid. Energy meets energy. You want ass and coochie. She want money and bills paid. Low frequency meets low frequency. Low frequency meets low frequency. Okay? It's time for you to man up with your frequency and it's time for you to man up, ladies. What frequency is your feminine energy vibrating at? Are you sending out coochie signals or are you sending out I want to build an empire signal? See, that's what the real alpha males want. We want a sister who vibrating on a level where she like ain't nobody getting these cookies. Ain't nobody squeezing these Cinnabons if they not trying to build empire for the African race. See that right there. That's what gets my testosterone moving. That's what gets my testosterone. That's what, that's what gets a real unapologetically anti-Snow Bunny alpha male. We want sisters who vibrating on the nation building level. We want sisters coming to the table. I'm going to help you build the school, help you build the hospital. I'm going to help you build the bank, build the supermarket, build the black star line. That's where we need to be. Relationships should only be getting made. 215-989-9858. Relationships should only be getting built to benefit and bless the black community. If we ain't coming together to raise revolutionary children, if we ain't coming together to procreate institution builders, then what the hell are we coming together for? 
So you're going to give birth to a whole generation of Negropeans who don't want to do nothing but wear a bunch of European made fashions? The black community don't need another materialistic baby. The black community don't need another ADHD baby. The black community don't need another Adderall Ritalin baby. The black community don't need another drive-by shooter. We don't need that. Come together to build nation. Come together to build nation. We are getting married because we're going to produce a black bank. We're getting married. We're going to produce a black school. We're getting married. We're going to create the import-export relationship between black America and black Africa. We need to be coming together to contribute to the race. We building families to copy white folks? We coming together to copy white folks? Brothers and sisters, you got to build your frequency. That's why we have in the conscious singles convention. That's why we have in the conscious singles convention. And then we're going to have the conscious singles ball downtown at one of the hotels. We're going to do the convention at FDMG. And then we will have the dinner in the conscious singles ball downtown Wilmington, Delaware. Who coming to the Conscious Singles Convention? Who's coming to the first annual Team Pan-African Conscious Sing... No artificial body parts. Nope. If it's obviously artificial, you can't come. If the hair ain't real, you can't come. You're not getting your money back because you should have never bought a ticket. You're not getting your money back because you should have never bought a ticket. You not getting your money back because you should have never bought a ticket. You not, I told you, natural hair only, and we will have natural hair police. We gonna have four sisters who's checking women's hair. If it don't, if it ain't natural, you not coming in. This is not the fake shit. This is the realness. If you are not an organically African sister. If you are not an organically African sister, if you are not an organically African sister, and the ball is going to be African formal or black tie. We're not playing with you, Negroes. The ball is going to be African formal or black tie. We're not playing with you, Negroes. You are not a doctor. You don't hold a degree, so you shouldn't be there. Yummy Milhani. Take your ass to the block party. Get your ass off my live, you Negro peeing female. Get your ass off my live, you plantation junkie. Get out of here. You probably a bunny hopper. Don't come on here disrespecting me. I didn't disrespect you. Won't come in here with your skin bleach and your fake hair. How dare you come on my live with your skin bleach and your fake hair and think you're going to disrespect me. I'm organically African. Everything about me real. Everything about me real. You don't see nothing fake on King Kong. You don't see nothing fake on King Kong. Well, come on here. Look like you didn't spent $5,000 to lighten your skin up a shade. You was African fudge, but you kept bleaching until you became African Butter almond. Shame on you skin bleaching ass black people. There goes a snow bunny minding our business. Lord have mercy. Who else on here thinking they're going to get over? I need a black owned restaurant in Wilmington, Delaware for dinner. I need a black owned restaurant in Wilmington, Delaware for dinner. I don't disrespect people. I don't disrespect nobody, no matter what the race. I don't disrespect the snow bunny couples. They see me at the airport. They give me a dirty look. Keep it moving, because if you say the wrong thing, you might get the shit slapped out you. 
I see the snow bunny couples at the airport when we going through security. I speak, they speak. If they don't speak, we don't speak. We keep it pushing. But if your snow bunny say the wrong thing out of a mouth, I'm going to back smack the shit out of them. Okay? I ain't got no time for them games. I ain't got no time for them games. Rhode Island. I've been to Providence once. I think I've been to Providence, Rhode Island. Yeah, I've been to Rhode Island twice. Twice. What about the Congo? Don't be bringing up nobody else's problems. African people got our own problems. What about the Congo, my brother? The longest running humanitarian crisis on the planet Earth is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Don't come to me with another people's problems until you solve your own problems. Don't come to me. I told y'all. Don't come to me with another people's problems until we solve our own problem. Talk to me about the Kenyan revolution. I stand in solidarity with my brothers and sisters in Kenya. They overthrowing the corrupt puppet regime of Kenya. Shout out to my Kenyan Africans. Asante sana to my Kenyan Africans. Oh yes. Oh yes. Asante sana to my Kenyan Africans, my Messiah, my Kukuyu, long live Didin Kamathi, long live the Kukuyu Land and Freedom Army. Oh yes, free the Congo. Where my Haitian Africans at? Is Haiti standing strong? Can y'all sneak me into Haiti? I wanna come to Haiti. Can I please come to Haiti? Why I haven't been to Haiti yet? Why haven't I been to Haiti yet? Where my Haitian Africans at? Can y'all sneak me in there? Can somebody sneak me into Haiti for a week or two? Can somebody sneak me into the Congo for a week or two? I stand with Burkina Faso. Ibrahim Trehorde, Pan-Africanist of the Year. Ibrahim Trehorde, Pan-Africanist of the Year. I'm the snow bunny boogeyman. I can't help you. I'm the snow bunny boogeyman. I can't help you over there, my brother. I need some uh, gardeners. Who's going to help me start the uh, garden? I want to start the FDMG Community Garden this summer, family. I want to start the FDMG Community Garden this summer, family. Who? I need some gardeners. Where are my gardeners at? Can we get some eggplants, some mangoes? Can we get some cherries, some cucumbers? Can we get some herbs and spices? It's time to grow. Can we get some yams and watermelons? Who's going to help me start the FDMG Community Garden? I want the garden started this summer. Stop playing around. Let's do the garden. Let's do who coming down to do the garden. Do we got a team of queens or a team of kings who are going to help me with the garden? We got a team of queens or a team of kings who are going to come help with the garden. I need a black man or women who do fences, regular chain link fence. I'm in need of a couple chain link fences. Where my black chain link fence teams at? Where my black chain link fence teams at? Where my black chain link fence teams at? Chef Barbie moved out of Wilmington, Delaware. Chef Barbie not down here no more because I'll be going to her house for dinner tonight. Chef Barbie not in these parts no more, family. Chef Barbie moved away a little bit. Where my gardeners at? Don't contact me if you're not serious. Let's go to Home Depot, Lowe's, get the soil. Pick where we're going to start the garden. Let's get the soil. I'll get the fence put around it. No salsa bunnies for me. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the bunny boogeyman. The salsa bunny boogeyman. The rice bunny boogeyman. The snow bunny boogeyman. The sand bunny boogeyman. Thank you, my sister. There would be no such thing as gentrification if we took care of our neighborhoods. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Good assessment. Good assessment. I don't hate nobody. I don't hate nobody. I don't hate nobody. So I can't answer your question because I don't hate nobody. You made an assumption that was wrong. So your whole question, fella, I'm the snow bunny boogeyman. I'm coming out on Halloween, too. I'm going on Halloween. I need somebody. Where, where are my costume designers? Can somebody design a snow bunny boogeyman outfit? 
Can somebody design a snow bunny boogeyman outfit for King Kong consciousness? I'm six foot three, 270. Six foot three and three quarters, 270. Six foot three, three quarters, 270. I'm six foot three and three quarters, 270 pounds. I got a 42 inch waist, 32 length, 19 inch neck, 30, 38 length arms. I do a 54 dress suit. I need a snow bunny boogie size 13 shoes and sneaks. Shangolicious. I need a snow bunny boogeyman outfit for, for Halloween. I need a snow bunny boogeyman outfit. You heard FDMG was a scam. Mark Harris, take your ass to the to the block party. Don't come on here with that. Block. Where's the school? Block. Where the rest of these Negro pins and Neanderthals at? Afro-Latina is an African woman. She is not a salsa bunny. An African identifying Afro-Latina is not a salsa bunny. She's an African queen. That's my sister. Where my Puerto Rican African queen? Where my Afro Rican queens at when I come to Puerto Rico? Oh, yes. Where my Afro Bariquas at? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's the Snow Bunny Boogeyman coming to you live and direct. FDMG Delaware TikTok I'm permanently banned from TikTok The Asians They got mad at me talking about the Asian Invasion of Africa they banned me from TikTok I could post but I can't go live I was in Cameroon In September I saw how beautiful Them queens were This institutions For me I told y'all business before the bedroom I think it's a joke y'all don't understand how serious I am Y'all don't understand how serious I am There's no such thing as a white South African. That's ridiculous. There's no such thing as a white South African. There's no such thing as a white Nigerian. There's no such thing as a white Ghanaian. There's no such thing as a white Liberian. There's no such thing as a white Egyptian. There's no such thing as a white Ethiopian. Anybody in Africa who is not an African. Anybody in Africa who is not an African. Anybody on the mother continent who is not an African is either an invader, an opportunist, or the child of an invader or an opportunist. I don't care what the African Union has to say. I don't care what ECOWAS have to say. I don't care what nobody got to say. If you're in Africa and you're not an African, you are an invader, an opportunist, or a descendant of an invader or an opportunist. How can a thief be a rightful owner of the land they stole? What are we doing here? What? How can someone who stole the land be a rightful owner of the land? How can someone who stole the oil, stole the gas, stole the cobalt, Ravaging our wildlife population They're killing off the elephants They're killing off the How can you be a thief And then turn around and be a citizen Come on Leave Bronny James alone I want to see Bronny James and LeBron Pray together That's going to be good for black men and black boys I like the example of Bronny, Bronny James and Bron Sr. being on the court together. I think it's a good thing for black boys and black men showing that black fatherhood. Leave the man alone. We need to see some black fatherhood. Leave the man alone. My only problem with Bronny, Bron, Bronny James, he better get rid of that snow bunny before he gets seen by the snow bunny boogeyman. Hey, yo, Bronny James, the snow bunny boogeyman might pop up in that Lakers locker room. The snow bunny boogeyman might pop up in that Lakers locker room. Oh, yes, the snow bunny boogeyman coming soon to a hood near you.
Did J.J. Reddick work for his head coaching job? See, let me tell you how self-hate operates. This is a perfect example of self-hate. This is a perfect example of self-hate. This is a perfect example. We have another Iceman. Iceman invaded the chat. Look at the colonizers. They always trying to invade something that don't belong. Can I ask y'all something? This is to the Neanderthal nation. Neanderthal nation. Why y'all always trying to invade something that ain't got nothing to do with you? You claim you don't like me, but you always on my chat. Snow bunnies, you claim you don't like me. Asian bunnies, you claim you don't. Rice bunnies, salsa bunnies, you sand but Y'all claim y'all don't like me, but y'all always on my chat. But let me explain the hypocrisy of black people, the self-hate. We defended J.J. Reddick getting a job over Sam Cassell. We defended J.J. Reddick getting a job over Sam Cassell. We defended J.J. Reddick getting a job over Sam Cassell. But you won't defend Bronny James's right to play with his father. Look at the hypocrisy. J.J. Reddick didn't earn that job. J.J. Reddick didn't earn that job. J.J. Reddick didn't earn that job. And y'all defended him. White Jesus syndrome. But Bronny James, y'all attacking him. Look at the love that y'all show for J.J. Reddick, whose white privilege got him the Lakers job. Look at the love y'all showing for J.J. Reddick, but y'all want to throw Bronny James under the bus. Look at you, Negroes. Look at you. Seventy-five percent of Africans in America are no good to the future goals of African people. I'm gonna say it again. Seventy-five percent of the race is no good with regard to where we need to go. I know it's sad, brothers and sisters. Let me see who texting me right now. I got a text message. I got a picture of a beautiful queen laying on her pillows. I grow food, I juice, I do pedicures, and I'm down for the cause. She can grow the fruit and do my feet. That's off the hook. She can grow the food and do my feet. Now that's special. Two one five nine eight nine nine eight five eight. I need to do a retreat for brothers. I got to work on a retreat for brothers. I need to work on a retreat. I have a special request. Please put this out there. If does anybody know of any black owned retreat locations across the country this is serious if you own a cabin or a couple cabins in the wildlife you know out in the country in the woods by some water where we could do a campfire do some hiking where my brothers at where my alpha males we got to get some of these brothers out the concrete jungle and reconnect them to nature where my brothers at y'all ready to do a, a retreat we need to do a couple retreats for the young brothers. We got to get them out the hood. We got to get them out the hood. We can't have the sisters there because we might not stay focused. We can't have the sisters there because we might not stay focused. We got to get the brothers out, do some hiking, sit by the water. Let's do some some uh, therapy sessions, some group therapy, some counseling. You know, let the brothers cry their pain out. What do y'all think about that? Let's get married. Who wants to marry King Kong? Are you naturally? 
Are you natural and can you be one of two? Because I will have two wives. There will not be one. Okay, there will not be one wife. So make sure you're clear on that. I don't care what the center buns look like. There will not be one wife. We need a retreat location. We need a retreat location. Already got the one wife, only got space for one more. Already got the one wife, only got space for one more. Already got the one wife. I don't hate nobody. Why y'all keep asking me, do I hate people? I what is wrong with y'all? 